my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Yulia. You own my channel, Miss W. Here we talk about fashion, style and lifestyle and how to empower yourself with the help of fashion. As every Sunday you have a new video and today we have a new styling video and in today's video we're going to talk about fall trends. Fall is almost here so we need to get ready and today I have prepared for you six fall trends and six outfits of course. So without further ado, Let's jump into it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social media, my Instagram, TikTok, and on my blog you have a different content that you will not see on this channel. Now we can start. Of course, we have more than six trends uh, this fall. If uh, you will like this video and if I uh, will see a good feedback, I will do fall trends part two where I will show you more trends. Just let me know in the comments if you would like to see that. Trend number one, and I have to say one of my favorite ones, overly padded shoulders. I do like really exaggerated look that padded shoulders give you. We definitely can see that trend in uh, blazers, but also in blouses and even t-shirts. Definitely this trend is kind of a transition from summer, but this trend will continue with us during fall and winter. So in this case, I'm going to show you an outfit that I created with this muscle tee with shoulder pads. I recently got it. This is from Forever 21. I'm gonna leave all the links to the items that I'm showing you in the description box. I'm sure that during this fall we will see similar tops with shoulder pads. This is a really big street style trend. You can find this kind of t-shirts in all the stores, in all the brands. I got this one at Forever 21. It was less than $20 and I think the quality is really good and I think it looks really nice. They have this same t-shirt in uh, different colors and what I do like is that on the sides it's not really low. You can see a little bit of your bra so be careful with that but it's not like really exaggerated so I like that and in this case I wanted to create a really kind of exaggerated hourglass silhouette so I added really high-waisted pants. I mixed this top with this camel pants from um, H&M. They are extra high-waisted and because we have bigger shoulders our waist looks even thinner. It's a trick also so for those who have rectangular body type, for example, wearing a little bit wider shoulders and um, wearing something really high-waisted that really will allow you to create that illusion of a waist, a really thin waist. And my ladies, you know me, I had to add some heels. I added this nude pumps from Zara. I'm gonna leave something similar in the description box because I got this like six months ago. You know that I really like my mix of styles and in this case we were mixing really urban, really casual style by adding some heels so we're really elevating our outfit. And as a bag, another obsession of mine, you probably have seen this bag already in a couple of my videos. This bag from H&M, again, I'm gonna leave it in the description box because I'm absolutely obsessed with this bag. This is a dupe to Bottega Veneta. I wouldn't recommend in any case use this trend and use over padded shoulders for inverted triangle body type because you will accentuate more this part of your body and it's gonna look more unbalanced. What we're always looking for is for a balance, that your top will be balanced with your bottom. If you have an inverted triangle body type and you're adding even more volume on top, it's gonna be really difficult to balance your bottom. And this is really easy and perfect everyday outfit. You can change your shoes depending on the occasion. During the day you can wear it with some flats, with some sandals, and during the night you can change your shoes for some heels, for some pumps, add a little clutch and this is your perfect night date outfit. skirt suit. You know my love for suits. I think it's just a super easy and fantastic way to look put together, to look super elegant. You can't really go wrong with a suit, never. And we saw a lot of uh, suits during 
previous seasons we saw a lot of suits with shorts that was also a really big trend during spring summer 2020 but now skirts are coming and we see a lot of different options in different brands where a skirt replaces pants or shirts and i also believe that this is one of the biggest trends this season today i'm bringing you an option that i found at asus.com i found this rusty color skirt suit I have a midi skirt but it's pretty long so it's midi kind of a maxi skirt and it has a slit and then we have this blazer that it also has a belt and i would say that this is another trend of this season cinched silhouettes cinched waist is really in right now so everything with a belt and of course i love this trend because i'm using belts constantly in almost all my outfits so really appreciate that it's a trend this season and what i'm always telling you about the suits why is such a fantastic option for you because if you're wearing it as a suit you're gonna be the most elegant person in the room but you can definitely uh, wear it separately you already have three outfits just in two pieces because of the length of the skirt we had to add some heels to it it has kind of a weird length when it's not midi but not maxi so i do recommend to wear some kind of heels with this particular skirt but i wanted to keep it simple so i added my really simple strappy sandals from asus again the half of my wardrobe is from h&m and the other half is from asus that's the reality and wanted to add a little bit of contrast in our bag so i added a black bag it's one from mango is a great option it has a perfect size to be your daytime bag and you also have a strap so you can use it as a crossbody but you just hide the strap inside and you have your perfect clutch for the night time With this feeling I can leave I'm working and I'm here Will you dare to give it over And walk by my side Do you see the road? Do you hear it's cold? Do you want a part of it? Just get me apart now Moving on to my trend number three Victorian style I think it's really in right now we see a lot of really beautiful Victorian style tops Gucci, Zimmerman, Anna Sui showed us the magnificence of this trend on the runaway and I have this top from H&M to represent this trend. Obviously the color is the key of this trend. If we don't have a really accentuated high color, it's not Victorian style. Also a lot of lace corsets, a lot of ruching, ruffle trims. That's everything about Victorian style. And we went for a really classy outfit and I added black pants Nothing more classy than a smoking style black pants. These are also from H&M and of course we can never go wrong with black and white combination and also kind of a mix of styles because this is really elegant, really classy and this is really romantic feminine style. Added some pumps, some heels. Uh, in this case I went for this velvet pumps from Mango. I got them the last year. We'll try to find something similar. I told you in my previous video that I'm really struggling with my shoes right now. I'm going directly from my sandals to boots and now I'm just wearing my pumps and I'm showing you a lot of pumps and I want to find something in the middle, in the between that, in between boots and pumps, something more casual. Definitely a shoe haul will come soon because I need to find different type of shoes to show you in the videos. Because yeah, the life it's not all about pumps. I know that, but this is what I have right now. And finishing this look with this mini bag from Coach. This is definitely still a trend. This was a trend already the last year, the fall winter 2019-2020. And it's still a trend. I'm not wearing my big bags anymore. I'm wearing this tiny little things like this. And you definitely can wear it as a crossbody, but I really love wearing it with this small handle. And this outfit is definitely more dressy. I would wear this type of outfit for a dinner, for example, or for a little bit more formal event.
Moving to the next trend, this trend is definitely not new. This trend is kind of coming back every fall, winter, and I'm talking about medals. Really kind of a festive dressy trend when we see a lot of metallic dresses, sequins, and all that kind of shiny pieces. But in this case, I want to add a little twist to this trend and show you how you can wear your medals in more casual way. I wouldn't say like super casual, but let me show you an example where you can combine your super shiny sparkly items with more casual items. In this case I have a vest, you know my love for vests. I have this one from the brand called Bershka, it's a Spanish brand and it's really festive, it looks really festive. We have some satin color also but as you can see I'm combining it with a really simple white tee and I think this mix looks fantastic and another casual piece in this outfit would be our pair of jeans. I added this really simple black high-waisted jeans from H&M and honestly I really like this combination. We're keeping it simple and giving all the attention to our sparkly shiny vest. And adding just a little bit of color, just a pop of color in our shoes, I added this pumps right here. Again, pumps, I'm sorry, so so sorry. This muted, nude pink color, I just thought it was a great addition to this outfit and definitely would add a really a small clutch to this outfit or something like this something small and probably something in black that will be my recommendation in this video is everyday lingerie. Things like bralettes, corsets, lace pieces that we can wear on a daily basis that are wearable. We saw really different and really extreme examples on a runaway but you definitely can find something really wearable in high street brands and for example there is always a place for a lace top in your wardrobe we don't need to go to the extremes we don't need to wear sheer lace tops or only bralettes as a top there is a bunch of different options how you can wear this trend and make it wearable so you you feel comfortable wearing it so as example i have this beautiful top that i got from forever 21 this week and as you can see i haven't worn it yet and it has incorporated lace trims and the shape of this top reminds you a little bit to a corset and i paired our super delicate super feminine blouse with this skirt this mini skirt is from h&m i got it the last year i think it makes a really beautiful mix the skirt is adding a lot of texture to this outfit and i think it's a really great like really girly feminine combination i couldn't help myself i need to get more shoes the amount of shoes that i have it's ridiculous but i'm making styling videos and i'm getting bored of my shoes and in general of my wardrobe pretty easily pretty quickly because i'm showing you a bunch of different outfits on a weekly basis but couldn't help myself showing you again these pumps these are from just fab the combination of colors goes really well and as always adding the final touch with our bag so i added this bag from zach posen i really like also this bag because of the shape you can definitely make it your daytime bag or nighttime bag it has a strap so you can wear it as a crossbody or you can wear it with this little chain handle on this occasion i went for a little bit more like weekends outfit more than everyday uh, casual outfit.
something that is definitely not new but with something that you probably have already in your wardrobe and that's why I wanted to include this trend in this video and I'm talking about checks and plants and this trend has been definitely with us for the last two or three years I'm gonna show you my example of course it had to be this blazer from Zara this double braced blazer that I got on sale it also has shoulder pads so we're including already <laughs> two trends in the same item and I also added a belt and we're also getting that cinched silhouette cinched uh, waist trend in this outfit. I wanted to show you this one because there is a lot of different ways how you can make this piece versatile and how you can wear pieces like this. So it's still really trendy but again it's still very wearable. And I pair it in one of my favorite ways. I pair it with a satin midi skirt and I'm so sorry. I had to shoot this look today and I was changing in my car. I really couldn't keep it uh, steamed as it was before. Even though the colors are kind of similar because of different fabrics, we have a lot of texture in this outfit. And as I was telling you, I added this belt, one of my favorite belts in my collection, really simple. And I definitely wanted to keep it neutral in my accessories so once again adding my nude pumps. In this video we're wearing only pumps and heels. I will be better in my next videos I promise. And repeating with my Zach Posen bag because it was the perfect addition to the color story of our outfit. And this would be my perfect outfit to go to the office to make any kind of presentation or to close the deal. This is my example of power dressing. With this feeling I can leave I'm working and I'm leaving Will you dare to give it all up And walk by my side Do you see the road? Do you hear it's cold? Do you want a part of me? Just get that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it and got some inspiration for your fall outfits. Leave me in the comments which was your favorite trend. Leave me in the comments also if you want me to do a second part with different trends because there were a lot and I do like many of them but because of the time especially I can't really include more trends and more outfits in one video because I need time to film them. I'm filming with my husband and some of these outfits I filmed with a friend of mine and I just need a little bit more of time so if you want to see a second part just let me know in the comments and give the thumbs up to this video. Next week as this previous week you will have three videos. We're gonna start on Tuesday with a vlog. You're gonna have a styling video on Thursday. You're gonna have another fashion related video on Sunday. I'm giving you three videos per week. Trying my best to give you the best quality, the best content and everything. Thank you very much for your support. Welcome to the new subscribers. This week was my first week as a uh, self-employed so yeah i really appreciate your support and for those who are not subscribed yet really hope you will subscribe if you want to support and if you like my content obviously and anyway guys i hope you will have a wonderful week and i hope to see you in my next video bye bye